All right, guys, it's freaking cold. And I'm going to the ultrasound for my thyroid. Wish me luck. So we're looking at your thyroid. Which, have you ever had an ultrasound on it? No. It's, it takes about 15 minutes to take a few pictures. We're measuring the thyroid. If there is a nodule, it's bigger than a centimeter. We'll measure it. Smaller ones, they're not as worried about. Okay? Okay. So, problems in the four tubes, Jen. Anything bigger than one centimeter? I did measure it. While we're driving there, I want to tell you about the research, or it's specifically a study that I found on, God forbid, it's thyroid cancer. Apparently, pregnancy hormones can take something that you already have, for example, in your neck, and make it grow bigger. And that's why thyroid cancer is the second most diagnosed cancer during pregnancy after breast cancer. Usually, if it's not aggressive, if it's not an aggressive form of cancer, they don't do anything until after the baby comes out. And then if it is aggressive, they usually do surgery or undergo surgery in the second trimester. Knowing that I am 10 weeks, that would be like two weeks from now, two or three weeks from now. God forbid I ever need to do that. But I, I wanted to educate just to know what I could expect and so I'm not really shocked. So today, based on the consistency of this nodule and that, you know, they're going to look at it on the ultrasound they can determine if i need to go in for biopsy or not so unfortunately it is a process and another appointment or not another appointment but wait probably another week or two to get the results before i even know what's going on so i'm hoping that it's just a nodule and overgrowth of my thyroid and i know radiologists can't really tell you what's wrong with you so i'm going to be hounding my doctor after this for sure I do. You mind taking the hoodie off? You can take it if you like. Sure. So we're looking at your thyroid. Which have you ever had an ultrasound on it? No. It's kind of she. Like the doctor was feeling it up yesterday, and she's like, "Oh, you have a nodule," and I'm like, "That's the first time I've heard that." Yeah. So. Okay. So it takes about 15 minutes to take a few pictures. We're measuring the thyroid. If there is a nodule, it's bigger than a centimeter. We'll measure it. Smaller ones, they're not as worried about, okay? Okay, so, but you know, if there's anything to follow, mm -hmm. it will be followed. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is it. We'll get a report to your doctor. They'll have it no later than Tuesday. Anything bigger than one centimeter? I did measure one, okay? Okay, because that just means your doctor's good at their job at this point. So that's why we go have a physical. We're going to check you out. Is it the one on the right? On the right, yes. It has more information than I'm supposed to get. I know. Out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I, I don't want to get you in trouble. Um, was it liquid or solid? <laughs> that, now that's more information I, I than I'm going to I can't say. Okay. Because I know that's a determining factor. Yeah. It's, it's all a process. And Nodules are not that uncommon. And as well, there is no check out. Go straight and then take a right. Thank you. Have a good one. So you heard it. There's one that's over one centimeter. I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, I know what that means. That means possibly biopsy. So week 12, day five in pregnancy, possible thyroid nodule turning into cancer. I'm actually going right now to get the biopsy done via fine needle aspiration. If you're curious what that is, 
Google that. I'm not going to be taking you in with me because the procedure itself is something I've never done before and I don't know what to expect and I don't know how painful it is. We're gonna do it without any lidocaine, without any painkillers, um, because I just don't wanna expose the baby to that stuff. All right, guys, so I got four pricks in my neck. I don't know if you see anything, but it was not painful at all. If anything, it was less painful than a blood draw. You feel some pressure depending on where they go in your thyroid. So I'd call it pressure pain more than anything. I didn't take any pain meds or anything to numb before. So that was completely fine. You can do it without it. So I guess hope, hoping for good news. One last thing. He did say that it would be sore for a few days. I mean, I can feel somewhat sore right now. Not really sore, but like something's going on. Like kind of have a side headache now. When he went on the lower part of my thyroid, I felt the nerves in my teeth get activated. It's really weird. But I do have like a side headache right now. They gave me an ice pack and said just keep an ice pack on it. So I've been doing that. I guess we're just going to make sure it doesn't get any bigger. If it is benign and if it's cancerous, God forbid. We'll go from there. There's a baby. You're 